It looks like it's 6 o'clock now. What time is it now actually? Oh. <laughs> oh, but I thought it's gonna be super ulu, but actually it's okay. I don't know eh. Oh, there only? Okay. That's good. The main station for Toyoma is just right here. Right behind here. That's quite convenient. What's that? So interesting. Oh, when the wind blows, I am shivering. Underestimated the weather and myself. Ah. Okay, I need to go. And, I need to go and buy heat tech later. It's so cold. Or maybe because we are at the more outskirt. <laughs> okay, bye bye. <laughs> in Toyama right now. Uh, I'm happy to be here. If you guys know or I know through my vlogs or through my Insta, you will know that we came to Japan last year but I completely missed autumn by a week which I was kind of sad about because I wanted to see autumn really badly last year and just when I touched down Singapore, I saw everybody posting about autumn you know i ken, ken was very encouraging he tell me it's okay you know japan will not run away we can always go back next year so that's why yeah we took one year and we are finally here and you guys might be asking like hey how come y'all go to yama instead of like, like the usual place like tokyo and all this uh i think for osaka we don't have to say anymore because i think we have graduated from osaka although i really miss Osaka while I'm editing the vlogs but I think enough is enough because we have been featuring almost the exact same ramen shop, the same claw machine and I think there's nothing more else to explore <laughs> in Osaka anymore. Always love the country but I think for now we should explore new places. So if you google where to go in autumn in Japan, the first thing that will pop up is Kyoto. So I think that's the reason why Kyoto is so congested right now. 
seeing people going there and then you know they post an insta story wow I, I, I'm not even there but when I see the Insta story I get headache already yeah, because it's just so crowded so I wanted to go somewhere that is slightly um, slightly more quiet but yet I still can see autumn leaf because you guys know I love taking photos and all so going to somewhere quieter you know I can take my photo not much photo bomb so that was my uh, initial idea and when I look at the map uh, Toyama is like right up here and then there's Kanazawa, there is uh, Shirakawa Go, Takayama which are places that I always wanted to visit so I thought why not make this trip the trip to do this although we have never done it before because whenever we travel we always just stick to one city like Osaka and then we just you know go around Osaka the most we just travel nearby one hour one hour that kind of thing yeah, so this trip is gonna be slightly different but I think hopefully it's gonna be fruitful and to be honest I'm also quite thankful that Ken is willing to do this with me because you see even for us coming to Toyama we had to take a plane from Singapore to Narita, Narita changed to Tokyo and then Tokyo changed to Toyama so it's not very easy and not very convenient but glad that Ken is willing to do this with me. Oh, guys, I am only wearing like a t-shirt inside and just normal jeans. <laughs> it's so cool. I think you should get an umbrella from Boston. Okay, okay, let's go get an umbrella first. This little bit more more you right now. Yes, it's so cool. I totally underestimated this place. I was saying I underestimated <laughs> the weather here. Because Toyama is at the end of Japan, so it's usually colder. That's why Hokkaido, all these places, they are very cold. And plus, I'm just wearing a t-shirt. I did not bring any heat back. Okay, later we need to go and buy. Maybe this craving for ramen. So let's go and The Fai Kalo one is a ramen shop. Oh, that's a ramen shop. As much as I wish to vlog, but my hands are freezing. I was thinking, why did I not bring a glove? But when I was packing, I like, cannot be that cold la. Come there's, on. There's glove in the toilet then. <laughs> you, take the, you take the tissue paper glove, right? <laughs> okay. Let's go ramen. Disappointing. Thankfully, we have a Lawson just right beside our hotel. Day one supper. Finally, we have a proper table to eat. You mean in the hotel? No? Yes. Yeah, this hotel is big. The room is big. Finally, finally. And I have a proper seat, not sitting on the bed to eat. Okay, let's tuck in. Mm. Nice, huh? I also think it's good. Wow. <laughs> it's better than. Like Play Doh, eh? Play Doh is how hard Play Doh. Mmm. Let's try it. This chicken from Lawson is so good. 